G'day legends, I'm here with the new version 1.4 firmware for the Melbourne Instruments Nina. Some really cool new features, let's check it out. So one of the first things you're going to notice is this new oscilloscope screen. It gives you a great little graphic representation of what's going on with the sound. Got standard mode, XY mode which shows you how things work in the stereo field. So X axis is the left channel, Y axis is the right channel. So if we turn on the spin function, you can see how that works. It's also really handy for getting a visual representation of the wavetables for Oscillator 3. So now with version 1.4 of the Nina firmware, we can mod the morph knob. And using the Osmos in MPE mode, we can use the aftertouch polyphonically on the Osmos to switch between panel A and B really smoothly. For this demo, I've got two sounds loaded up on the A and B panels. On the A panel, we've got a nice mellow plucky type sound. And on the B panel, a much brighter, bigger sound, lots of effects, got the spin effect in full force and you can see the difference between these two sounds here on the panel of the Nina. So by changing the morph knob we can morph between the two sounds but now we can actually assign that to be controlled by aftertouch. So we simply go to mod and let's go with expression here so that's as you push deeper into the key on the Osmos wiggle the morph knob we can control EG2 level or scroll down to morph. And then let's put that up to 100. So now if we play lightly, we get that same panel A plucky sound. But if we press down into the key, we bring in panel B. Now the knobs don't actually change positions on the Nina, but it's the same effect as if you're physically turning the morph knob. So you can get all the benefit of bringing in panel B sounds, which can be vastly different to panel A, all just by using aftertouch or whatever you choose.